Going through the steps that we know and love now for finding inverse functions, here's what we end up with. Starting with f of x equals x over 4, f inverse of x equals 4x. This makes perfect sense. f is dividing x by 4, and f inverse is multiplying it by 4. Checking our work, f of f inverse of x equals 4x over 4, which is just x. Going the other direction, f inverse of f of x gives us 4 times x over 4, which is just x. Awesome! This must really be our inverse. Looking at g of x, we started off with g of x equals 4 over x. And interestingly enough, g inverse of x also equals 4 over x. Let's double check to make sure this works. g of g inverse of x is 4 over 4 over x, which simplifies to x. Hmm, we get exactly the same thing for g inverse of g of x, since g inverse and g are the same thing. So we also end up with x for this. g here is a special kind of function. It's the inverse of itself.